What's up witches? My name is Syzygy and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hi, hello, nice to have you here today. In this video, I wanted to discuss a topic that I briefly covered in a couple of my previous videos but have never really gotten around to fully express my thoughts on. This is mostly just because in both of the videos that I have talked about my thoughts regarding this topic in, it was just kind of a point that was on the back burner and I haven't really gotten the chance to fully express my views on it. And, well, because this topic kind of hits close to home for me, mostly because I've had some experiences, I think that it's an important thing to cover. If you read the title, then you know that this video is going to be about the probably somewhat contentious topic of minors drawing, creating, and distributing not-safe-for-work artwork. Now, I've seen this topic both hotly and intensely debated in the art community in the past, especially when it comes to things like the 2018 Spockter drama and Sashley drama. And if you want to go even further back in the DA drama timeline, there's the Birdie and the Sleepy Kink dramas respectively, all about how minors receiving and drawing NSFW is a problem. I don't know if this is a currently debated subject in the art community, but I haven't really seen many people cover it, so I figured I'd just throw my two cents out there. You know, why not? So let me establish my point of view on this right out of the gate. I personally believe that minors should be able to draw explicit and non-explicit not safe for work material, and that they should be able to do so without judgment or insult from other people. However, I also believe that minors should not post, distribute, sell, or share their NSFW artwork publicly. As for why my perspective is the way it is, just hear me out, we'll get into all of that in this video. Now before I really dive into this, I want to make a couple of important notes here. First of all, I'm going to be using the terms NSFW, R34, and explicit artwork and or material interchangeably in this video, and they will all mean the same thing. I know that the acronym NSFW, or Not Safe for Work, can both refer to explicit 18 plus material as well as stuff as innocuous as someone in skimpy clothing or even weapons and gore. Note that in this video I will be using the term NSFW to refer specifically, specifically to 18 plus artwork, and I am not referring to violent or tame suggestive art. Basically, NSFW equals R18 in this video. This is because the YouTube algorithm is less likely to get salty about me using this term instead of the other one. You know, the one that starts with a P. So just keep that in mind as you watch. Besides that point, note that I'm not a lawyer or a legal expert, like, at all, so what I'm gonna be saying here is my own interpretation of things that I've read. All of the helpful sources will be linked in the description if you want to learn more. I also implore you to do your own research if you're interested in this kind of thing. So first up, I want to get the legality of things out of the way. In one of my previous videos, specifically my Creepy Art Trade story time, I spoke very briefly about my thoughts on minors drawing, suggestive, and NSFW art respectively. Apparently my wording was a bit off because I had some people in the comments who seemed to think that I was positing that it was illegal for minors to create, post, and sell R34. A couple people even asked me as much. Here I want to clarify that this is not the case and I didn't really say that in my video. <laughs> Contrary to what you and maybe other people may believe, it is not actually illegal for minors to draw R34, nor is it illegal for them to post or sell it. Hell, it's not even illegal for minors to view 18 plus material, at least on a surface level. I feel like this point gets kind of confused because it's very much illegal to provide minors with adult content with the full knowledge that the consumers of the material are minors. Yes, knowingly sending adult content to children is illegal, but well, unknowingly providing minors with R34 is actually not against the law, at least according to what I've read. This is why, for example, adult websites and even just adult spaces on public platforms like Twitter will either say, quote, minors do not interact, or in the case of some websites have an RU18 button that you must click upon entry. By either simply making note that the adult spaces are not minor friendly or by putting up a wall that forces the minor to actively lie about their age to enter means that the websites and general not safe for work content creators are not liable for what minors may see if they proceed. Therefore, it's not against the law for minors themselves to go out of their way and, of their own free will, look at adult content. This sort of policy is similarly applied to minors creating adult content. Minors are completely within their rights to create both suggestive and explicit material, and they are very much allowed to post that material online. However, of course, there are some extra notes to be made here, but we'll get into that in a little bit, so just put a pin in that for now. With that legal note out of the way, we've established that there is no legal barrier that prevents minors from expressing themselves through R18 artwork that they create of their own volition. 
However, if my opinion was simple as, quote, the law says it's okay, so that's the long and the short of it, end quote, then I wouldn't have been compelled to make this video. Therefore, I do want to go over my personal thoughts and also some of my experiences regarding creating and posting NSFWR online as a minor. The most important thing to establish and to begin with is that I'm a very pro-art and creativity person, as well as a passionate advocate for self-expression and sex positivity. I am personally of the belief that kink-shaming people is wrong and immoral. As long as their interests do not break the law or hurt a real person without that person's consent, I think that those interests are valid. Minors, teenagers especially, often find themselves in a phase of self-discovery when it comes to kinks and fetishes. Teenagers who are artists and writers may find themselves wanting to explore their new found sexuality and interests by drawing or writing about them. And in my opinion, this is not something that they should be insulted or belittled for. Hey, minors out there in the audience, you are not bad or disgusting or immoral or cringe or whatever for wanting to express your feelings and interests in your art. It's a perfectly normal and healthy outlet for you to want to express those feelings and what you create. I'm generally pretty open, so I'm just gonna share some personal experiences here. I used to draw R34 as a kid. Yeah, I said it. When I was super young, like about 12 to 14 years old, I used to draw somewhat steamy art. If you watched my first old art video, then you would see that a lot of my old references for my old furry characters had to be censored because, um, I drew a lot of nudity as a kid. <laughs> Even before those references, though, I was introduced to the world of R34 art specifically because of the Undertale fandom. Go figure. <laughs> I was an Undertale fan from late 2015 all the way up until late 2018 and was active in the fan base in 2016 and 2017 especially. Even now, I still love the game and it holds a fond place in my heart. But yeah, back on topic, when I was 12 and 13, I was drawing up a storm of suggestive and outright explicit art. And do I think I was bad for doing that? No, I broke no laws, and I was simply expressing myself. In fact, as admittedly embarrassing as a lot of that stuff is, I would posit that it was a good thing, an outlet for my expression. However, I did make one big mistake. This mistake was posting it. Now, this wasn't an objective offense on my part. I broke no laws simply by posting it publicly, but it did cause me a lot of grief on several occasions. And I want to use my horror stories as examples to deter other minors from posting their R34 stuff publicly. Okay? Okay. I want to use this one comment that I got on my creepy art trade video as a jumping off point because the points that this person makes are all things that I'd like to discuss my thoughts on. Before I show the comment though, I do want to note that I do not encourage attacks and harassment against this person. They simply have a different perspective than me and I'm going to provide my own experiences and thoughts as a rebuttal. They should not be attacked or anything immature like that simply for having a differing opinion from me. With that being said, let me dive into it. Quote, not sure why it's bad to draw not safe for work stuff for people as a minor. Boundaries aside, if you're okay with it and draw NSFW in general as a minor, what's the problem? It's not like you're sending nudes or something. It's just drawings that doesn't have anything to do with age. What's the danger? They don't know you. They can't do anything to you. They have no blackmail or anything since it's just a drawing of a character. Especially if you're already 16 to 17, I'd hope you'd be smart enough to know your own boundaries. Just art, nothing else. No problem. All right, let's go through this comment point by point. Not sure why it's bad to draw not safe for work stuff for people as a minor, boundaries aside, if you're okay with it and draw NSFW in general as a minor, then what's the problem? It's not like you're sending nudes or something. It's just drawings that doesn't have anything to do with age. What's the danger? They don't know you. They can't do anything to you. Let's unpack this. Now, though it's not against the law to draw NSFW as a minor, nor is it a problem in my opinion, I am of the firm belief that sharing it with others as a minor is a problem. What this person fails to recognize here is the dangers for both the minor sharing or selling the material as well as the people receiving it. Let's start with the prospect of minors sending NSFW to other minors, or selling NSFW commissions to other minors. Now this may shock some of you, but in the US and in many other countries, it is against the law to send adult content to minors. However, it's not just illegal for adults to send R18 content to minors, but it is also against the law for even minors to send stuff like that to other minors. Kind of crazy, right? Many kids online are not aware of this fact at all. Me being one of them. 
I used to send and receive content like that from other minors when I was a kid, completely unaware of it being against the law. Now, from what I understand, minors sending R34 to other minors is not as serious of a crime as if it were an adult providing such content to a minor. From what I've read, I believe that most of the time, such a crime like this is rarely enforced at all. It's sort of like laws regarding jaywalking or laws about not letting one's dog do business on someone else's lawn. Jaywalking in some states is illegal, and letting your dog do business on someone else's lawn is considered trespassing and is therefore also illegal. However, these laws are rarely enforced, and breaking them is unlikely to get you any more than a legal slap on the wrist. Despite this, they are still laws. And this also goes for minors sending NSFW to other minors. It may be unlikely to warrant any punishment, but it's still crossing a legal line. And if you want to argue that it's not that big of a deal, I can play ball there as well. If you don't really care about the legal side of things, let's take a look at the moral side. If you're a minor and sending such material to other minors, especially minors that are younger than you, you could be negatively impacting someone. It, it may be true that in this day and age, many kids are unlikely to be quote unquote corrupted or even affected by something like that. However, there still is a strong possibility that it could affect someone. Many minors, especially those on the younger end of the spectrum, are inexperienced and do not know how to handle material like that, and exposing them to such things before they're ready or comfortable may desensitize them to it, and could cause complications for them and put them in dangerous situations, some of which I will get into here in just a moment. Now let's get back into this comment here. Let's assume that this person was not in fact saying that minors sharing NSFW with other minors is okay. Let's instead assume that they mean that minors sending NSFW to adults is completely and totally okay. Let's just say that this mentality is both dangerous and irresponsible to put it lightly. Minors sending or selling NSFW commissions to adults is completely not okay in my opinion and is both a risk to the minor and the adult involved. Let's first talk about the hypothetical case in which a minor is advertising and selling slash sharing such content with adults and the adults in question are fully aware that the person sharing this stuff is a minor. If you're creating and posting NSFW content publicly as a minor, all with your age in your bio and the public acknowledgement that you are under 18, it is likely that certain unsavory individuals are going to be attracted to your page and to your DMs. Especially if you're doing requests or commissions, predators may very well see that you're a minor and slide into your DMs because you've already acknowledged publicly that you're desensitized or comfortable making and seeing that content. The adult in question may find it easy to exploit and manipulate you into creating art for them. Even worse, there is also a possibility that the adult could cozy up to you, form a bond with you, and convince you to not just share artwork but start sharing private details about yourself or even pictures of yourself for other minors, real and fictional. My point is that advertising NSFW content publicly as a minor can put you in harm's way. It paints a target on your back and can attract adults that want to use and exploit you. And even though you may initially think that you can handle it, predators are dangerous and generally intelligent. And they can slowly break down your boundaries and push you into doing things that you would have otherwise never done. To illustrate this point, I want to share an experience that happened to me when I was either 13 or 14. When I was a kid, I posted my NSFW on DeviantArt like an idiot. My age has always been public and displayed on my profile, even when I was a really young kid. I was a really small, traditional artist at that point and drew poorly drawn anime girls most of the time, as well as some Undertale characters. Because I posted NSFW publicly, I got an adult man in his 30s send me a note, which is a DADM for those of you unfamiliar with DA terms. He didn't pay me, he just requested that I draw a nude picture of this random anime girl. Because I was young and a small creator at the time, having never done a commission or a request, I accepted the request and drew what the guy wanted. At that time, I literally saw no problem with it at all. I just thought I was mature enough, basically an adult already despite how young I was. I sent him the art and he thanked me and we both moved on. Only years later did I realize how inappropriate and dangerous this interaction was. If he had tried to pursue a friendship with me and continued on manipulating my young mind, the relationship could have progressed to much more horrifying territory. And at the time, I was so desensitized and okay with this that I didn't realize that it was not okay or concerning at all. To expand on this point further, the person in the comment says specifically, quote, especially if you're already 16 to 17, I'd hope you'd be smart enough to know your own boundaries. This is just 
also kind of ignorant in my opinion. For one, despite the age of consent varying across the US and in many other countries, in most places it is still illegal to send anyone under the age of 18 explicit material, even if the age of consent may be lower than 18 in that area. Though being 16 or 17 may mean you're a bit more experienced than younger teens, it is still against the law and still dangerous. Do you guys know why there's an age of consent in the first place? because the brains of minors are underdeveloped, moldable, easily influenced, and inexperienced. You may be 17, but you can still be exploited by an adult. Your boundaries can still be overstepped. You can still be manipulated. Hell, even many adults can be manipulated into stuff that they would normally never do. Turning 18 doesn't automatically or suddenly provide you with a ton of life experience. Young people are still young and inexperienced, as well as prone to making mistakes or being taken advantage of, whether they're quote-unquote close enough to the threshold of adulthood or not. Next up, let's finally touch on the hypothetical in which a minor who posts not safe for work art and advertises 18 plus commissions does not reveal their age online or actively lies about it. This actually doesn't put the adult in any legal danger. Being that the adult would be under the impression that the minor is older, they wouldn't be at fault for unknowingly asking for or sending the minor not safe for work. So no one is legally culpable. Why is it still a problem then? Look at it from this angle. If I ordered a not safe for work commission from someone who claimed to be 18 or older and then I later found out that they had lied and were actually like a minor, maybe 14 or 15, I would be disgusted and horrified. I would feel violated and gross. I don't think that it's a stretch to propose that many adults, or at least non-creepy adults, would feel the same way. Receiving NSFW from someone or having an explicit conversation with someone and then later realizing that they lied about their age in order to do so would upset a lot of people and it's really not fair to do that to someone. Finally, though the comment doesn't actually talk about this, I think that it's important to bring this up myself. In most countries in the world, drawing not safe for work of minors is against the law, even if the person drawing them is a minor too. Though some places, especially the US, is both lenient and kind of unclear with this law, and it may go unpunished in certain places, it is still considered CSA material and you can be charged with a crime in some cases. And I think that it's important for minors to know that. Protect yourself and be knowledgeable about what content is against the law and what could get you into trouble so that you can avoid making terrible mistakes. That is all on this subject. So what did we learn today here, my friends? Well, first of all, it is not shameful, legal, or bad for minors to want to draw NSFWR or write 18 plus stories. It is normal and completely okay to want to express yourself in what you create, especially while you're still growing up and discovering things about yourself. However, it's also incredibly important to be safe while doing so. Though there are many legal loopholes about sharing work like this publicly and with others as a minor, you could put yourself and others in danger by doing so. Do what you love, but be smart about it and refrain from hurting others as much as you refrain from hurting yourself or getting in trouble. With all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is more of a commentary-like, opinionated video than many of my others, so I don't really consider it to be a rant video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments. If there are also other topics that you would like me to look into and to cover, feel free to suggest those as well. If you want to see my artwork, writing, crackhead rambles, or not safe for work art, 18 plus for that last one, all of my links are in the description. Description. Just follow the link to my card and then you'll be able to follow me anywhere you'd like. Anyway, if you like this video, feel free to rate and subscribe if you feel so inclined. I hope you have a nice rest of your day and don't forget, stay magical.